All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Avatar, Avatar The Last Airbender, Airbender episode, episode 8. eight. The right. finale of the first season. Finale Let's of go. the first season. Books 2 and 3 of the live action adaptation already been confirmed. We have I have been properly surprised this yeah. this uh this has been this really Netflix good. Adaptation. And the previous episode was also fantastic, which was, you know, like awesome. So now we can lead into this one with like yeah, a good setup and everything. Yeah, I, I, am, I think it's going to stick the landing really I, well. Yeah, I am tentatively excited. There's mm -hmm. a there's a lot in the ways in which they can just kind of let things play out one to one mm -hmm. here. Yep. You don't need to change too much more now that you've done the heavy lifting in the previous episode to change up a decent bit of things, but all things that I was very happy to see changed because in some ways you kind of needed to address some of those things because of the way that you've set up this new type of world building with regards yep. to the Avatar and how that works with the temples and, and shrines and the, stuff. So The changes worked really well. The changes so worked pretty now, well. Like, I'm, um, I'm really excited for this one because yeah. I don't think they'll have to change as much, but even then, they have yeah. a good track record now. The, so. the, the, the one thing, the one thing mm -hmm. that I could see maybe being an issue here is the Fire Nation should show, we should show them winning. Yes. There was this little bit of ways in which they kind of held back on the violence and even the air nation, mm -hmm. uh, the air nomads getting um Oh yeah. uh getting slaughtered. Even so, with like Azula's fights against the imprisoned earthbenders where they just sort of block her fire and are yeah. fine. So so let's Let's have some let's, immolation. Let's Come let's on. let's have some actual like it. war situations here, so that we have something to scar our main character with. So exactly that when he then goes and kills everybody, because he is going to kill people. Yeah, yeah, he's not yeah. just going to raise the water and then all the ships go. Woo, oh, no. oh no! No, Iroh's not just gonna create his own fire like this is <laughs> yeah. this is, this is a, so a wonderful weird. moment i will say y'all even if you are not liking the netflix adaptation you cannot help but admit yes we are healing yeah the Shyamalan 2010 movie that doesn't 14 exist 14 years we can move that behind us and say that the mm -hmm. you know the the live action live, avatar is this the live action avatar it's is not, this it's not whatever yes. that other thing whatever was that. yeah 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 oh, oh. so yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, let's go. I'd love to see them, like, specifically trying to break down all these, like, ice sure. barriers that have been, like, put up. Oh, oh, just straight into it. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay. All right. Bringing Katara in here as well. Okay. Yeah. Watch out, Katara. There's a new group coming in Starbird side. <laughs> Detain the soldiers at the front. I got some things to take care of. I'll okay. Oh. All right. Oh. All right. Yeah. Like standing on Appa. Okay. Okay. You just start wrecking shit. Yeah. Uh -huh. What? Whoa. Oh, nice. Okay, that was <laughs> okay. That was cool. Although I will say that was the most CG Katara I've ever seen. I don't know if you yeah. saw that. It's so so goofy. How many more to go? Uh, a thousand. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dark Moon no, Legends. Okay. Oh, I guess because Zhao, yeah. Bang. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Nice. One way or another, this is where my journey ends. <sighs> Search the coastline for fishers. Signs of warm water outflows from the city. They could provide a pathway inside. Nice. Good idea. Yeah, I gave you your plan. There you go. You're welcome. Lieutenant would have been proud. Oh, he initiates it. Why you gotta do this? Why you gotta do this? We'll meet again. After I have the avatar. I love the delivery of that line. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Good stuff. And keep your Good hood stuff. up. Good stuff. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
I like how he was looking specifically at Katara. They mean business, but so do we. I'd say it's 50 50. There's only two outcomes either they win or we do. 1090. Where are you going? To even the odds. Oh. What you, what you thinking? Oh, nice. shit. Fire Nation engineers created this. Oh, this isn't our work. No, this comes courtesy of our spies in homage. Yeah, so it begins. Mm hmm. Fuck, I mean, yeah, this is giving me some Lord of the Rings vibes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, show the waterbenders being waterbenders. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. Good shit. Okay. I thought I made myself clear. Women are not allowed in combat. I thought I showed you how stupid that is. Forget your pride. This yeah. is the survival of the waterbenders, and you need all the help you can get. Wow. Okay. Oh, right. we have the yes, yes. Oh, okay, this is cool. Okay. Yeah. What good is it relying on the past when it stops us from having a future? It's just that simple. Shit. Yeah. Oh. Needs reinforcements. Yeah, yeah. So we can help them repair the damage. Okay, okay. And see if their warriors need any other assistance. Okay. I like that that facial acting of just the sort of like blinking it away, right. you know. Everybody, let's go. Yeah, that's 40 waterbenders you just yeah. added to the front lines. Uh-huh. I'm not going to hide while everyone is risking their lives. Listen to me. Yeah, she's a waterbender too. Just stop being overprotective. You are, you are the future of the Northern Water Tribe. My daughter. Okay. Cool. All right. I like that. Good stuff. Yep, nice. Good, good. I need you to go with Yue and help her move the people away from the wall. But most importantly, keep her safe. Sure the princess stays safe. Responsibility again that ends yep, up yep. he ends up failing in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is good. Mm -hmm. Take care of her. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yep. Last yep. words. Yep. You'll say to him. Okay. Master Paco told us to report to you. Yes. <laughs> told us to help you in any way we can. Right. That's. All right. I fucking love that. Yeah, yeah. If you spot any incoming fireballs, don't try to take them on yourself. Let me know. Yes, Master Katara. Master Katara. Yeah. I'm not a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's. Oh, that's cool. Now show the moon. Show it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's full, baby. I have been studying up on matters beyond this realm, which is why I know that that. Isn't just any moon. The barriers. Oh. The physical and spirit worlds grow thin on this night. Oh. Oh, cool. Okay. Just a bunch of mumbo jumbo about lion turtles and <laughs> cosmic balance and push and pull. And so the waterbenders believe their lives come from the spirit of the ocean, while their powers. The spirit of the moon. Nice, nice. They take physical okay. form. They take form, yeah. And become part of the mortal world. They appear in this world? Zhao, you're not thinking of tampering with the spirit world, are you? Are you? Whoa. Yeah. Nice. My life is near. I can see Oh. One created with materials from the spirit world. Oh, shit. And if it has returned to the north, it can only mean one thing. I'm only going to kill the moon. Zhao cannot be allowed to meddle with the primal forces of nature. In doing so, he will throw the entire world out of balance. We need to find Sokka and Yue. Something terrible is about to happen. Everyone, head to the tower. You'll be safer there. Momo! Momo! Don't, don't, don't you dare. Don't, don't you, you dare. dare. Right, you have to have Sokka caring about our... Oh, no, this is great. This is yeah, how yeah. they set up the, the save of Aang in book two. Yeah, yeah. Because Momo gets saved by the water from that place. Right, right. Yeah. Verdant and colorful and... Yep. Nice Tori gate there. Yeah, yeah. 
Momo learns to speak. <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave the kid alone. Hey, who asked you? <laughs> God, I, I hope we get to see that in this show. I mean, it's not going to happen, but that'd be so no. great. <laughs> Momo. Dumb dummy, don't scare me like that. Oh. Oh. He's like. Mm -hmm. oh. I. Yeah, oh. Zuko's infiltration, let's go! Oh. <laughs> yes, Momo can have his Zhao moment, right? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and and with how smarmy Zhao is, that'll fit even better. Either you help me find the spirits, or watch. As I burn this whole place to the ground. I mean, yeah. that's the pragmatic way to do it. Uh huh. Just burn that's everything. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. We need to stop. This isn't about Zhao. This is about us. I'll deal with him. Yeah. Go easy. Go easy. Enough people have been hurt already. I don't care. I wasn't talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. She got the moon. Mm -hmm. The way they have the moonlight coming in through the window. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Little peasant. You found a master, haven't? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I like it. Yeah, and right there. Yeah. Yes. You're looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Cool. All right. I I love it. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 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 hey. We got company. Like, well, I'm no expert. But uh, that looks kind of. Without the moon, the world will be thrown out of balance and chaos will be unleashed. Even Ozai wouldn't want that. Ozai lacks vision. <laughs> Dao, whatever you do to that spirit, I'll unleash on you tenfold. Once I take my place as a new Fire Lord, you can stand by my side. Your presence will lend legitimacy to my claim. Holy shit. As long as he bows. Yeah. The moon <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Now show the shot of the ocean fish. No matter what you think. Yeah, yeah. Power. Above, above. Come on. I can wipe out an entire race of benders. Can you imagine what that's like? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, I suppose that is. Release his spirit and I'll go with you. Peacefully. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like that. Do you think anyone cares about you? Master of three elements doesn't quite have the same ring to it, <laughs> does it? Let's face it. You don't matter anymore. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure you ever did. <laughs> okay, that was kind of corny. But that, yeah. but I like it. Yeah, yeah. The flicker. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Boom. Uh huh. Let's go. Oh, this shot is sick. Uh huh. Now all those fireballs that were coming uh -huh. in, you were blocking them. They're just they're, they're just, just coming through. Down now. Oh. 
right? It's not just bending. You would feel like part of your life. Yeah. Damn, oh, and that shit. was the vision. Yeah, now it's just going to come down to your uh -huh. warriors without armor. Yep. Fuck. Right. Yeah. They're really selling this, like, mm -hmm. the time the mood, you know, darkens. Yeah. There's no hope now. It's over. I love how her eyes are the one thing with color. He's putting your duties above all else, even your life. Mm, it turns to look at him. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Chills. And then he sinks. Aang, don't do this. You'll be lost forever. I should have been lost a hundred years ago. This isn't my time or my world. Holy shit, let's go! Shit. Oh my god. Oh yeah, let's go full kaiju, uh, yeah. Holy shit. Oh, uh, what's that? Is he gonna save Katara? Oh. That love it. They're like, yep, yep, just, okay. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So now Yue's thing is going to be about saving the Avatar right. and yeah. you know the world. Take me instead. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it doesn't even acknowledge the the catapults. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the angry kind music coming in. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, Zuko doesn't need firebending to kick your ass. Yeah, yeah. Your mission is a sham. Yeah. Yeah. Even I can see Did that. You really think the Fire Lord was going to take you back because I was just using you. Yeah. As motivation for your system. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was. Yeah. Yeah. You were the fire in which her iron was forged. That's all you were. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I love it. Yeah. Uh, now we can have this moment from mm -hmm. Southern Air Temple, and then Iroh can have his moment. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Taking out the trash. Oh, Iro just straight up killed him. <laughs> I mean, okay, you, sure. You fuck with his kid. Right, this is Aang just kind of, you know, posturing, being like, go away. But soon, no. Right, it's still a physical thing, basically, so. Mm -hmm. I love the steam clouds coming off of it. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then it picks up the boats and just breaks them. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That looks so good. Yeah. Yeah, just. Fuck. Just man. done. 
god, the color with just... Yeah. Holy shit. shit. As boy is seeing all of it. And here's where we have the Southern Air Temple calling out. Yeah. But it's not going to be enough. No. No. Nope. Must be something we can do, some way to bring the moon back to life. Oh, and he gives the idea. Oh, yeah, and he's gonna. Oh, he's gonna tear himself up over that. You never told me you made out with the moon spirit. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> I'm trying to watch. Oh. Because um, I'm yeah. about to go do something that's gonna make you very upset. Quick, get out of your boots. I was touched by the moon spirit as a child, so I have its life within me. It's time for me to give it back. You wait, please. Please don't. No. Please, you don't have to do this. I walk into the water. Yep. And then it's going to look back and see the moon. Yep. Oh. I'd love if there was that little bit of Aang's decision here. I know you're thinking of Lauren as well. You were never meant to die 100 years ago. What? I need you. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, wow. Nice, bring that Avatar mm -hmm. theme in. <laughs> Meanwhile, Iroh and Zuko. Yeah. Are like, oh, fuck, fuck. Holy shit, we got out of there. Yeah, the boy. Oh, and the, oh, that's a, that's a good way to hit Katara. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm trying to separate Han from the show. I know, I know, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sorry I couldn't protect her. <sighs> made her own choices. Nice. I stood on the sidelines while others fought and died being the warrior I could never be. Yeah. I made sure she wasn't alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You gave her that strength, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, not even addressing the insecurity of am I a warrior? Right. So much was lost. Yes. And we'll rebuild and we'll emerge stronger. Remember how I told you water is the element of change? Mm -hmm. You helped me change. You reminded me of that. And I'm deeply grateful that you did. Mm. Nice. There's a whole new generation of waterbenders who need training. Mm hmm. We could use your help. Yeah. After all, the Avatar still has to learn waterbending. In that case, he couldn't have asked for a better master. Yeah. Yeah. Water from our oasis. A reminder of what we've gone through. Nice. The invitation to return. Nice. Rather than it's having the clunky, like... It has healing properties. Prop. We've had it demonstrated that it has healing properties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lieutenant G would have known to stay out of the worst of the battle. Oh. He and the crew may be looking for us right now. Yeah. What do you want to do? Yeah. It's a very good chance they're just dead. I don't know. Yeah, he's questioning a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Zhao's words stuck with him. Yeah. Oh! Uh! Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. All right. Ah, uh, yes. Nice shot. Dang, this is war. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's going to be losses. There's going to be pain. None of that is your fault. And the firebenders aren't giving up. We have to prepare for whatever they throw at us next. I think I understand something Gyatso was trying to tell me. 
Oh. Hmm. Okay. Let go of the past. We're all never of a future. You're going to learn water bending, and I'm going to make sure of that. And then earth bending. Which means back to a mosh Or not. <laughs> that, like, hesitation from Katara. Yeah, it's like, or we don't have to go there. Agna Keller took heavy damage, but our forces were unable to take the city. Also, it seems the Avatar remains alive and free. The North was never the true target. Oh, and now we show Amashu. Yeah. And now only Basin saves Azula. Mm -hmm. And the yep. total conquest of the Earth Kingdom. A brilliant strategy. But was the Fire Lord aware Prince Zuko was among the forces at that Uh huh. His death was a necessary loss. Amashu. Yeah. He's ours! What's next? Nice. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Oh, what is oh. next? The movements of the heavens is always difficult. Ah! We have devised a method to better understand celestial motion. It's taken a hundred years for the time. The comet was near. Yeah, the comet will come. But then this, this is time. also setting up how they can. We shall see the return. Sozin's comet. Cool. Nice. Also showing the, you know, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like there, there's another thing. It's like, hey, something's yeah, about to happen. Something else will be there. As yeah, well. yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. All right. Wow. That was great. That there was... were there were a couple little things where I was like, okay, that didn't quite work to the same degree for me. Yeah, you know? yeah. But like, like spectacle. Mine, spectacle was awesome. And, and like, yeah, I I think maybe I like the previous episode more, but I I love mm -hmm. the spectacle of this. Like. The spectacle was great. So I liked much. the tone of it. The rampage of the ocean spirit was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Ah! Oh my God! Yeah. It's 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 it it's happened. Done. It's done. Yep. Like like we we got it, and I love mm -hmm. it. Like I want to rewatch this show already. Like maybe skipping a couple parts. Yeah. You know, I, but I, like I, I feel like I feel like what's special about this is that we got something that was tasteful mm -hmm. to the original. Yep. It was not the original. No. It definitely wasn't as good as the original. Like sure. it, it, it's absolutely a very different product. But but the areas in where they decided to make some of the changes were more good than that. Yeah, and I would and say that, that see the is it as good as the original? No. But I don't think it's a the original is better on all counts, right? It's the well, there, yeah. there are well, that's that's, yeah. that, that's like, the same that's, thing. Yeah, it's like that you get you have like times where well, it's going to be it's going to be like No, but I, I think that is I think that is um worth saying because I I was not expecting that to happen going into this well, show. Well yeah, you yeah, know? no, right? I, like I get and you. so so way to go. Yeah. Like that's awesome. Right. We're 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 made better as Avatar fans for having an, a, right. a live action adaptation that's this good. Yeah. Um, because I don't think that the areas that they flubbed mm -hmm. the ball in really are the kinds of things that you could do too much better. You're still going to have to deal with child actors. You're still yep. going to have to deal with the fact that you're shoving way too much stuff right. into one season. The, the, you know? uh, silliness of the source material not working all the time in a live action situation you know yeah 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 yep. there's a there's a lot of little things like that and then maybe the parts that are more debatable things like characterization stuff mm -hmm. that's where i think we can let them cook a little bit because we're dealing with this from the context of having three seasons already done of the animated series exactly yep. to, to let it all sit with whereas with this we just got its first foray into the avatar universe Exactly. Um, but yeah, I would uh, I, I would be happy to uh, show someone this if it made them more likely mm -hmm. to watch the animated series. Yeah, I feel like I feel like this is a a good in, a good introduction because like while there's a lot of stuff that you won't be getting that you get in the animated series. Yeah. This doesn't feel like a disingenuous introduction, you know, where it's like, mm. oh no, you. I know this might be easier, but 
you know, like this feels like it could totally turn somebody into an Avatar fan. Yes. Who then goes and watches the animated series and it's like, oh, hey, there's all this extra stuff. Right, right. You know? I, I would I would find that um, the, the biggest thing that this just overcomes the hurdle of is the, well, it's animated, so I'm Can not going to really, really, really take it seriously. Mm -hmm. And then with this one, you go with the, oh, gotcha. I didn't take maybe half of the characters as seriously as I could have until we got to like way later mm -hmm. in this first season here. Yeah. It, it it really took me a while to really care about the characters if I was looking at these at this independently from the animated series cuz right. I have all this care from them in that exactly. story. And I feel like I feel like the the first episode of this show you know it had those moments of like clunky exposition and all that stuff and wooden delivery. Mm -hmm. But then also, but it was still good. And then the last four episodes, like, mm -hmm. I feel like that's, that's all, like, those are really good chunks of just mm -hmm. great stuff. Yeah, I, I would say, especially these last four episodes, mm -hmm. I, I think they hit their stride. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe we kind of uh, had a bit of a weird way to get here. Right. Episode four happened. Episode four happened. Or, or no, episode three. No, no, sorry. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Episode, episode three. three. Episode happened. three was the was the really bad one. Episode, episode two and four were, uh, were they were like uh, yeah. 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 I mean yeah. But but all that being said, the things that were my primary concerns, changing the lore of the Avatar with regards to the uh, connections to the past lives, uh, changing yeah. Aang's characterization so mm -hmm. much, um, adjusting the tone of things, worried that some of the themes would be lost in all of these right. changes. While I don't think they're as powerful mm -hmm. in this adaptation, they're still there. Yes. They're still there. And notice that with the characterization changes, we're not mentioning Zhao because their decisions with Zhao were all incredible and fantastic. And well, well I'm, so I'm just creating an umbrella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm creating an umbrella. I'm not right. I'm not talking specifics here. Just just in general, I I feel good about this. But the mm -hmm. thing that's great is I feel even better about book two. Oh yeah. The yeah. things that they did here set up book two to be more streamlined. Mm -hmm. There's a couple things about book two that were already kind of clunky like um i don't want to go off too far into like talking about this and you know so much yeah. that uh people who have only seen this property uh, might sure. not want this but there's a batch of about four episodes in book two of the animated series that are some of the worst episodes of the series overall yeah, that now, you could just remove well not only you could just remove they don't really add like mm -hmm. anything even for Zuko and Iroh. Like like yeah. most, this is the thing that's great about Avatar Last Airbender, even when you're not on with the Aang and Katara and Sokka plot, usually the Zuko Iroh stuff is really good. Right. But anytime that they don't have that, that's then, when you can you're tell you're in a bad on Avatar line, episode. You know? yeah. Or you're in a less than, less exactly. than average Avatar episode. So what they've done is basically said, yeah, those things there, mm -hmm. we won't need them because we're going to be moving things with the um, the element of book two being essentially the chase. Like we're we're going yeah. to be yeah. the You're gonna have the return to Omashu, the you know, getting to That's gonna start the, the chase. chase and then we're gonna get Toph along the way. Right. And yeah, it's gonna be just this straight bullseye to Omashu and then the terror of okay, we're here, but what you know. So so yeah. All that to say, um, I can see how in eight episodes, hopefully, Netflix, please give them ten. Yes, well, yes, yes, that would be awesome. More, more episodes would be great. They, they rush through things way too much, and they spend yes. so much time talking about uh -huh, things that uh -huh. are happening that because it's not needed. And yeah. and the thing is, is that especially that one of the reasons why I really want them to get more episodes is because all the new stuff they added was so good mm -hmm. that it's like, hey, I want them to have the freedom now to be like, we're not as tight. We can we can you know mm -hmm. add some extra extra frosting and sprinkles here and mm -hmm. there if we want to, because. It's been good stuff that they've added. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. It's it's tough because I, as an animated series fan, mm -hmm. diehard fan, this show is never going to reach that level. No. Never. Of course. There's not. a bunch of things that it just can't, unfortunately, do. But there are a lot of things that it is doing, mm -hmm. and I think, unfortunately, unfortunately. Um, this series is just a bit off enough in certain areas that I could very easily see the reception um, 
for book two and and continuing oh. stuff being so much more of a whimper that um, uh-huh. uh, they don't keep investing into this as a as an sure. idea, like from a business standpoint. Yeah, right. Like, yeah, because so I know that books two and three are mm-hmm. greenlit. But I could see the reception to book two maybe hampering book three or something where they're like, oh, maybe only give book three six episodes. And it'd be like, oh. We're yeah, that'd be rough. That'd be I, rough. Like, I think I'm optimistic because I feel like the quality of this speaks for itself well enough. The, the, well, we, there, well, I get the feeling there will not be as many fans of the original series that will get into this just because of the initial skepticism, right? Or, or even just watching it and going, I don't like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think that's a very valid thing here because the, the fact the that the episodes are in the beginning that yeah that's you unfortunate. you might not make it past episode two I I know I know people that would yeah. be like uh and no. I mean and, well and I mean <laughs> problem isn't getting past episode two let's say you do great but if you're already on a bit of a shaky ground with regards to that because of three episode two four then you get episode three that's rough that's I'm that's sorry a, that's a you death know, knell right but, there but but you know the but if you can get to the five six seven eight like that's a that's a stretch of awesome right there. It's a stretch of of at least good. Like like yeah. at least good. Yeah. And so I I I I want to encourage anybody, you know, I mean, I can't imagine I, I don't know. Maybe you're watching this or reactions to this and you're like, I want to see them laugh at all the parts that are terrible, right? Which I would totally get. Mm-hmm. But let's make sure that we give props to this show for the good things that it does. Yes, yeah, hold it to the be- standard. Let's be balanced, y'all. Exactly, right? Just because there are some definite problems, mm-hmm. this is uh, this is the kind of thing where, you know, while books two and three are greenlit, they can probably learn from the mistakes of yeah. the way that this one was received mm-hmm. and adjust accordingly. And I, I, I can imagine that one of the ways in which things will definitely get better, that child actor problem... It makes sense that that will become less of an issue as the series goes on. They'll get more introduced to the. They'll feel more in tune with, in tune, in, with the in tune with the characters. In addition to just you know generally getting more experience and practice and things mm-hmm. like that. So you know, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm um, excited too. Toff, I could see being a, a bit of a a rough. You need to you know, nail because you need casting. To, you, you need to, to, Toph is Toph one of the has best such things. a presence and personality. Yeah. that like that's got to and land she, even then that's the other thing her character design is an animated character design oh it, it totally doesn't, is it doesn't really work in live action like i've seen cosplays and stuff and oh no I'm yeah like, and you don't want it to look like cosplay but well, no 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 no. i'm not talking about the yeah, costume okay. i'm talking about the way in which people look mm-hmm. in a tough costume yeah, just just the idea of the, the hair. hair. Yeah, and then trying to do anything intensely physical while you have a blob of like, yeah, like, that's not gonna work. Like they, so I think I think they could they could sort of mute it, tone it down a little bit, and then and then that could right. But then <sighs> earth bending, then you know being like well, okay. but the earth bending has looked really good. Right, so right. Far. But then also so, you have to be like short enough and kid enough to be like. Yeah, but at the same time, at the same time, with how cool the earthbending looks, when I think of somebody just using sure. their feet kind of to do it, like, and just being like, kabam, you know, right? Like, yeah. that could that could be really cool to have such a small movement from such a small person have big effect, you know? But, oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I, oh, uh, man. But, oh, man, yeah, oh, man. The spectacle of this episode was wonderful. I think uh, uh, Twi and La being given their, their full moment here with not just the ocean spirit just going absolutely nuts but also the way in which the lighting and the yes. uh, way the the moon was turned into like a blood moon oh yeah um i i loved this like dramatic very hyper you know over the mm-hmm. top Yes, it, it really worked here. Like, like this is this is where you can go full cartoon, basically. Right, right. And have it really work. Because yeah, this episode was the most cartoon of because, them all. In because a lot it's of ways. the hey, like, you know, where where cartoons can have those serious moments of because we can do kind of whatever we want, we can have those serious moments where whatever we want can happen. Oh yeah. hey, budget, CG, you can make whatever you want happen. And the thing you're wanting to happen is really serious, great. Like yeah. you can get a bit wacky with it, you know? Mm-hmm. And like the 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 way in which Zhao elevated that scene as well for like us being able to see the just the 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 crazy come out, you know? Mm-hmm. As he's like, no, I'm gonna be the new Fire Lord. I'm gonna do yes, you'll lend legitimacy to my thing. You know, I'm I'm gonna eliminate a whole race of benders. Like 
who cares about you, Avatar, <laughs> right? Like, Yeah, Zhao and the, the actor playing him uh, absolutely sold to me the manic insanity of the Fire Nation being willing to throw away so much life, yep. cause so much destruction, oh, yeah. because we are going to do whatever it takes to rule the world. Mm -hmm. uh, I I mean, we, we, we've seen the animated series, we know, but yep. like for people that haven't, you know, seen that here, the Fire Nation feels way more like I understand them. Yeah. They're so, so just industrious and gross. Mm -hmm. and, and the, the, one of the things that the lines that wild like, and chaotic, like yeah. really like just, I, I adored was when Zhao's taking Iroh onto the, onto the airship, right? Mm -hmm. Which great. That's a great explanation for how they do it. You know, mm -hmm. building, you know, tying that stuff in and also the, Hey, I know Iroh might not want to do this, but he could actually help me identify things. That's a great reason for him to be there. Mm -hmm. But then the, this is how it all works. And Iroh being like, what the fuck? Like, no, you're not actually going to do that. He's like, no, of course not. I'm not going to, I'm not going to commit some genocide. I'm not a monster, right? I'm just going to kill the moon. You yeah. know, like, like having and that later, like, just like, I could kill all. No, right. But, but the, but the, well, cause he's just wanting to take away the bending. Right. But the, well, he's drunk on the power. He's absolutely drunk on the power, but having the, I'm, I'm going to say something reasonable of, no, I'm not wanting to just wipe out every oh, person right, of the water. Right, to entice to come. Yeah. Right, right, but but the idea that he didn't, he he really didn't have interest in like killing the ocean spirit. Like he's no, like, he just wanted to win this battle. Yeah, exactly. Right, and so and and the idea that Iroh's like, no, dude, not even Ozai would want like would want that. And you know, Iroh's trying to convince him, but I also kind of believe that Iroh believes that of like, e right. like even Ozai was probably like Sozin was a bit. Excessive, like you a know, he got much, the job yeah. done, but at the same time, he still didn't. But you know, yeah, I I kind of like also the idea that the Fire Nation can bounce back from this loss mm -hmm. here. Um, the idea of it not being the true target that felt a bit that felt really like cheesy. It's yeah. the kind of thing where a villain goes like, ah, all according to my plan. Yeah, my exactly. This plan when it's like, so how would the Water Tribe have helped? Omashu, but also how is Omashu more important? Well, right? no, 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 like, no, no, no. Forget, forget that. Just saying the idea that like the water tribe needed to be distracted. Yeah, yeah, no, that that just doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense, right? Like, so you want to distract the Avatar? Mm, no. Okay, cool. Yeah, but why don't you just like, why don't you just like go yeah. and stage a blockade? You right, just you could sit out there, and then you're like, mm -hmm. all right, cool. Now go and attack Omashu. They can't do anything. Well, and also, so moving big fleets around makes sense, but just, yeah, like my right. my personal way that I that I maybe would have liked to have seen it done mm -hmm. is it's the oh we lost at the Northern Water Tribe. That's doesn't matter. We that doesn't still... you know that's unfortunate that that happened and that was a decent chunk of our forces. But I know how dangerous that was, so obviously that wasn't all our forces. Cool, we lost there, but we won here. And now we have an inlet to the Earth Kingdom or whatever. Oh, right, well, because you know. Omashu's thing um, on the geography side of things was that they couldn't, Omashu was farther to the west. So right. in order for them to get to Ba Sing Se to the east, they would have to have more staging grounds. And you can't just do the classic thing of walking around the castle that's clearly not on our side. Because then, yeah, then you have they, your back line they, be... Right, they could know. interfere, but then also you do need an actual installation with like, uh, you know, things that you can take over to basically help, you know, fuel the Right, the and, and yeah. while the Omashu arc is something I'd rather forget from this mm -hmm. series, um, the idea that they had spies there and they were actually slowly but surely, you know, setting up to take over the city, yeah, it was just an inevitability. So rather than having right. it be the, ah, uh, this was a distraction. I would have rather like the line would have the been first uh, right, right. I would have rather exactly. I would have rather he made the point of it doesn't matter whether they win today or they win tomorrow. You can't stop the Fire Nation. You can't yeah. stop fire. The fire yeah. will spread. Yeah, it yeah. Will spread and destroy all the Earth Kingdom, mm -hmm. and starting with Omashu, and 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 then he showed like we've already we've already taken it, and it's the yes. Right. Cool. He, I unleashed he, my daughter. He it also was forged in the crucible of, of Zuko's hatred uh, of Zuzu. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah. Can we talk about that? Actually, mm -hmm. this is something that is never explicitly stated mm -hmm. in the animated series, and it's never even really 
dramatically hinted at. It's lightly hinted at for sure, but the way that they characterized Ozai and Azula was way more basic in the animated series. Yes, They absolutely. basically had a situation where Ozai was pushing both of them to be uh, basically worthy, you know, super firebender successors for him. Yeah. Um, but he never actually explicitly pit them against each other. It was more of a point that in the Zuko Alone episode, he brings them both to Azulon and is like, look what I've... Right, look, and he shows off Azula. Look but at my he doesn't, progeny, you know? Yeah, he doesn't want to show off Zuko, and then Zuko does this thing, and he's like... Yeah, Why'd Zuko is considered already at his young age to be kind of a... A failure. Uh, yeah, failure. Yeah. So the idea to then push the complexity of, no, I've been pitting them against each other mm -hmm. because I don't care who ends up being Fire Lord. I just want someone who's just as vicious and as ruthless and yeah. as cunning and as deadly as me. Right. I want a mini me. Yeah. Zuko. He's too much like my brother. He's too much like my brother. Mm -hmm. So, or like my wife, my sure. dead wife. Yeah. So I'm going to use him to be the means to put the pressure extra hard on Azula so she actually like well, and is able to be cracked and molded into who I need her to be is wonderful mm -hmm. because th that's, that's inferred by yeah. a lot of the things going on in the animated show. Well, and with the way that they're doing it, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to entirely be the um, Zuko and Azula are being made to seem like peers. Mm -hmm. It can also just be the Zuko wasn't enough. And so now he's gone and he's a big yeah. joke, right? You yeah. don't want that to happen to you, right? Cause mm -hmm. you're better than him. We all know it, but you are, you are right. better than him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know? And so, and so he does these things to basically make her insecure about whether or not she's good enough. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, the, no, you should have been able to beat him two or three moves sooner. You know, mm -hmm. I'm going to have you go up against these, fairly run-of-the-mill earthbender prisoners, you know, right? right? Like, And it's the, yes, they're easy, right? So then defeat, defeat them, them easily. Easily, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I, I love that because it's basically setting up everything that will be so dripping with, with, with drama when oh, Zuko yeah. and Azula see each other again because it's the, ah, Azula, I haven't really been even thinking about you. No. I've been doing my own thing here, and yet she's been obsessed with this idea of right. who Zuko is. And then when they end up fighting each other or having clashes or mm -hmm. you know what have you in early book two, I'll just be like, that, you're disappointing. You could have been using this time to you know, get stronger and being out sure. there and stuff and fighting the Avatar. Oh and yeah. Impressive work, by the way. Why is your firebending still so ass? You know, <laughs> like, 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 yeah. like, like you have Iro here who could teach you. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know, yeah. uh -huh. like I, I am, I am so excited for that. So the fact that this episode gave so much time to Zuko's, uh, like emotional journey as he's mm -hmm. reeling with the impossible nature of his I'm gonna mission. go get the Avatar while he's in that. Right. You know, right. I and was then, like, the fuck? Yeah, and then no. Chow basically drives the point home of you stupid fucking right. idiot. Like, and why do you think? Yeah, even I know, and the only reason I have any interaction with your sister is because she's helping me. But like, it's everybody that knows even a little bit about the royal family knows what the situation is, except right. you. Yeah, that's except you. You're the one that isn't in on the joke. Right, even your wow, uncle, yeah. right, the implication, even though it's not said, even your uncle knows what the situation is. And he's and trying to kind of like slowly guide Zuko. Away even, from that. Even just in this version, you yeah. can see him doing the, I'm being so actually hands off uh -huh. in a lot of ways because I don't want you to feel like I'm trying to manipulate you, but I yep. am trying to guide that, that's you. That's not, mm. like, I'm not doing that. Not but, doing that. But remember your breath of fire, because, oh boy, you know, yeah. And I <laughs> right, love how right. we don't even see that bit of, like, Zuko infiltrating. It's just suddenly he's there and he's trapped under ice. And yeah. then it's like, oh, oh, that, mm. Like, we can guess what must have happened, you know? And then suddenly it's like, okay, he does his thing and bursts out. Be quiet! Yeah. <laughs> right, like, it it somehow lends itself to the scrappy nature of what Zuko's doing, mm -hmm. while at the same time, having him do something that feels like, wait, that, how the fuck did, that seems impossible. That's just another Tuesday for him. He has to do shit like that in order to, in order to, in some way, keep competing. Have a you chance, know? yeah. Right, like, I, I liked the, the effect mm -hmm. of that, even though there was that part of me that was like, oh, I, 
I always really liked seeing Zuko, you know, like mm. do that that whole bit. Also, but, little adaptation change thing here, but the timing of using um, the moon being killed and or oh, yeah. know, starting to die to time it with all these waterbenders, specifically Katara as well, having their fight being literally ripped out of them. Uh-huh. Um, that was a fun way to have the contest between her and Zuko continue to escalate until it gets robbed. Yeah, the sudden that sunrise that that never felt right to me. It in never the show, felt right. To where me it's like, either. okay, she freezes him there for a long time, and then they wait for even if it's a very short amount of time, relatively like an hour. You yeah. know, it's like, meh. It's part of the limitation if we can't, you know, kill here. You're right. So then, in this case, having Ang be like. No, go easy, you know. Yeah. I, I Enough people are, you know, enough people are dying and getting hurt mm-hmm. out there, which is fun because, you know, Aang's the pacifist, so he carries right. that that in him. But And then, he does have that connection to Zuko as a result of what happens, so right. it's also like it's not just Zuko getting spared from consequences, even though it is, it's mm-hmm. being spared from consequences as a result of something you did. But we don't have to do the full thing that was always a little bit awkward uh-huh. of we're going to pick him up on Appa grab him, tie him up, then yeah, yeah. pull him all the way over here, uh-huh. then drop him off, not look at him. He breaks free from the rope. Yep. All that time, basically, just... Where they to... didn't... Yeah. And now, I have no issue with that except for one slight thing. Yeah. Is that that means that some individual words will have, will have to be changed in one of my favorite monologues in the show. Ah. And that is something that makes me sad. Even though I think they'll still totally be able to nail it. Which you know, monologue? There's a lot of the, good monologues. If the Avatar and his friends hadn't found you, you would have frozen to death. Well, oh, oh, you know? oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Right, like, that's... Oh, no, 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 no. I, I think that that's, that's, you know, that's right. That is a very good one there, but I think that you can still get a yeah, lot he was of about to try and of it. go up against the ocean in all its rays. Well, right, you, you know? can get a lot of mileage out of it from more experiences that happen in book two as well. Sure. Because yes. there's literally a part as well where Zuko almost, you know, like, like almost loses Iroh. Yeah. Yeah. Just the idea that all this stuff that he's done keeps getting him into situations where he's just lucky enough to get out of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he did almost get, you know, collapsed by that or crushed by that building that, you know, yeah. held that. Yeah. Uh-huh. So. That that was that was a a lucky a lucky save right there. Uh, but I yeah, I love the way that once the bending went away, all those all those catapult shots that yeah. like had been, you know, getting like disabled and whatnot, suddenly it's like, nope. People are getting torched. It's yeah. it's fucked. It's fucked. Water bending felt really strong. It I, did. I will say water bending is probably the one that looked the weirdest over the course of this series mm-hmm. yeah. um like visually but this episode alone made water look really good yes. the times with the water being used to stop the catapulted fireballs and oh everything. yeah and like the way sometimes it was almost like frozen slurry you know yeah, that yeah. they were like shooting out and stuff that was great that was awesome um the bit with paku then like the the way that him and katara had that interaction and then like he's like okay and then he later sends the 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 young benders to go help, like help. That was awesome. I loved a little bit of then the kid being one of the people that also gets Died. killed. Yeah. You know, and it's like, oh shit, yeah, we don't know who what his name was or anything. It's nope. just another person that decided to fight in the war. Yeah. And they're gone. Oh, so if they do the book to beginning with th- them meeting up with the earth benders. They could skip that episode. They could. But what they could do is also have it be remnants of Omashu people that That's true. They combine it with the return to Omashu. And it's the rather than Pentapox, they can have it be about No, just use, just, the just, just use the Avatar State and just start killing all the firebenders. Right. Here. And well and you could also have something where because of like because it, they went into the mechanics of the fusion of why this is different, and mm-hmm. I liked the added bits of like, no, this is an irreversible thing, and all of that stuff. That was a great way to add impact that then makes it so that UA sacrifices additional yeah. meaning and all that. Like yeah. all of the added bits of like, oh, it'll just be a wandering spirit searching forever for you know, like that. That painted a picture. That I did loved paint it. A picture, like yes. we, I didn't really have much of a sense in the animated series. Like, what does it mean when the world be? flying out of balance. I see the ocean fish like, you know, swimming around like crazy and we see what happens later. But like, what does that actually mean? You know? Yeah, it was left to our imagination. Left to our imagination. Yeah. But that could be a way then that Aang has even more memories of like, 
oh fuck, I'm now, I have now retained, regained a bit of my, you know, I've, individuality, I've, individuality yeah. but I still remember what happened there and, yeah. oh, I, I killed a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for that and that kind of to be juxtaposed with him kind of wanting to hold on to his, mm -hmm. you know, Aang yeah. you know, character and stuff. But yeah, that's actually a really good point. The thing that they focused on this episode a couple times in the exposition mm -hmm. was that the elemental, primal elemental spirits are way more powerful than the Avatar, mm -hmm. which is the reminder that the Avatar is effectively a spirit. Like it's a, right. it's, it's again, some Korra lore as and, well there. And also a good mechanical reason to say later, why doesn't Aang just do the same stuff that he did here? No, that's a, that's a different thing. It's on a different power, whatever, you know. Right, this is not just, you know, the Avatar state is not just connecting with your past lives. It's opening you up to that spiritual power right. that you have. And he opened himself up to a different spiritual power here. And right. Damn. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Um, so uh, I think this really sets the stakes for where things can go even darker in book two because yeah. it's not going to be about solving it with uh, phenomenal cosmic spiritual power. It's going right. to be the politics of bossing say it's yeah. going to be the resilience to keep you know going when azula is mm -hmm. not able to be beaten yep. um it's going to be the you know decision to actually like leave your friends and stuff and oh yeah make there's a the choice at the end of book two so there's so much fun stuff that they'll be able to get into here i feel like they set it up perfectly the fact that we were able to have the second half be such a high note mm -hmm. to then like tee up book two i right. really like that uh, um, we kind of did also just to have a little fun Easter egg thing here. We had the uh, Katara kind of saying like the like the pleading with Aang in those yeah. moments there felt very much like a mix of the energy that came from the uh, fortune teller episode and the oh. uh, um, Southern Air Temple. Uh, the Southern Air Temple. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Wait, when did that happen in the fortune teller? Well, it's just the fortune teller is just looking like, wow, he's just a really powerful bender. And she's just kind of like, oh, you know. Uh, yeah, he is, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, That no, that is a good point. As far as as far as far a a time and place to set up the Katang thing, mm -hmm. that is something that I had been kind of wondering, like, okay. Will, so, they, just, will they just throw that to the side? Yeah, yeah, will they just throw that to the side? How the hell are you actually going to do that, right? Because that's, that's one of those bits that was the most, like, we're holding to conventions of storytelling at the time from 20 years ago or whatever, and mm -hmm. main guy, main girl are gonna get together. But like, but how are you actually gonna sell us on it, <laughs> you know, right? And so the bit here, yeah. I, I felt that that was nice having the emotional plea come yeah. from like the the experience of the journey and all of that stuff and the connections that they've made. I really liked it, I liked the delivery. Mm -hmm. um, but, all right. Yeah. All right, Avatar. Book one, I'm yeah. finally, I'd say, uh -huh. chill with calling it book one. Mm. But um, yeah, yeah, I want to know what you guys thought, because this is one mm -hmm. of those weird instances where we know the source material yep. very well. Like We've spent a lot of time talking about it and stuff, but this is one where we can now speculate together in the comments right. and stuff as to like, what, yeah. what would you like to see in book two? What were the things you liked and didn't like in this adaptation? What were the things that made you go, oh, because of that, I'm actually now able maybe to on be, board, I'm you know? able to be on board with it, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I, I would say for me, it's the context of the whole story being known so the adaptation can pull in all these yes. little things to not just be fan Easter eggs, but kind of going, yeah, we've touched on that, so now we don't have to spend an episode on that. Mm -hmm. We can now, you know, also, uh, a Focus little on some other things. Little thing that I liked as a as a just added bit is Iroh mentioning the bit of I'm sure G and the rest of them knew not to get too close, you know, right? Like because they're never going to see them again for very you know uh, they, unavoidable. They could. Theoretically, they could, but you know, they're those characters are effectively out of the story. But with what happened and the connections that were made, it makes sense for there to be concern. Yeah. And so to have that be a thing for a little bit before, and now we, you know, sure. unavoidably go our separate ways. I yeah. like that. I like that too. Yeah. Um, <sighs> but yeah, y'all, uh, we've got something fun. We do. Uh, to announce though. Yeah. Uh, we got something very fun. Mm -hmm. So for those of you. <laughs> they're wondering, wait, if they're doing this live action stuff here. Why aren't they doing that other live action? Why aren't action doing that, that other was, Netflix live action that, that was apparently so good? Yeah. That got people like thinking, wait, Netflix can do live action adaptations of animated stuff actually well? Well, 
So we're um, going to be doing that. We're going to be doing that because we use yeah. this as basically the litmus test to see if you guys really like this. And yeah, you guys did. But apparently you guys would want even more. The One Piece live mm -hmm. action mm -hmm. Netflix adaptation to be done for reactions. So that's going to be I'm coming up so after this. Excited. I'm so excited too. I get to see my boy Usopp. I get to see all these dorky crewmates mm -hmm. trying to like... Yeah actually be like and apparently the like, luffy is fantastic so it's like the, the uh, yeah i've 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 yeah. heard i've heard i've heard uh, i've heard actually the luffy is either like you love him or, or you, you hate, him. hate him well i so, feel like that's luffy in general <laughs> well, well sure sure but what i've i've heard is that the adaptation as a whole is just such the spirit of one piece mm. so that's yes. that's yes. the part where i'm, I'm looking to see like Let's the go. creative liberties taken but the the energy and the the uh -huh. found family aspects specifically oh, yeah. just done so well. And then also the fact that they're probably going to cover a pretty solid amount in just well, the first season. Arlong Park. So I mean, they've got to get to Arlong Park. But yeah, y'all, yeah, if you want to see the first episode's reaction discussion to that right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about animated shows in general, and also uh, anime and other stuff like that. We do a lot of stuff like that. But also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.